go. What is up guys? It's Buzz here, and I'm going to be doing a Sonic movie review. Uh, I had went to go watch Sonic the Hedgehog's Thursday night. I was about to say Saturday. I actually went to watch Fantasy Island. Uh, and surprisingly, this is actually a really fun and enjoyable movie. Uh, so the movie's Sonic the Hedgehog. The teaser trailer had came out a year ago. And upon initial reaction, uh, most fans and most regular viewers weren't pleased with uh, <laughs> the way Sonic came out in the trailer. So credit to the, I guess, via graphics design team and all the people who worked on the movie for actually listening to the fans and uh, making him not a very scary, freaky monster. <laughs> Uh, the characters in the movie is Sonic the Hedgehog, which is voiced by Ben Schwartz, James Martison, and Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Uh, the main premise of the movie is basically Sonic the Sonic is from another world, uh, and he's landed on Earth, because basically there are people who want to harvest his powers, and basically doesn't fit in with anyone. Uh, the movie starts off with uh, basically just him in another world as a kid. And uh, if you played Sonic the Hedgehog the game, uh, you know like the original uh, Green Zone map, the first map that you play as. Uh, in the background I have here some Call of Duty gameplay. <laughs> uh, and basically he crash lands on Earth, or he doesn't crash land on Earth. Uh, he's in Earth, and basically he ends up... Uh, having a little tantrum where his powers are where his running speed ends up knocking out enough power in the northeastern region of the United States so now he's being hunted by the government and particularly one Dr. Robotnik which is played by Jim Carrey uh, some things I liked about the movie was I thought they did a really good with casting Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik uh, I mean, it's basically prime Jim Carrey back in, like, Ace Ventura, the mask type. He's really goofy. The jokes he delivers are pretty funny. His character all around is just, like, a really funny one. Like, basically, I might as well have just said, hey, yeah, you know that character you did in the mask? Yeah, we need you to do that again, but maybe times two and make it for a kid-friendly audience. <laughs> uh, one of the other things I also liked about the movie was, uh, it was very fast paced, it was also easy to follow, it wasn't convoluted or anything. Uh, it was pretty standard, I mean it's more marketed towards kids, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, Sonic, or Ben Schwartz voicing Sonic was a good choice. Uh, he really made the character feel empathetic and sympathy towards him, towards some of his decisions and I guess the way he is as a person or character. I also really like the buddy dynamic between uh, Sonic and James Madison's James Murdison Murdison's. I think that's how you say it. James Murdison's character. Uh, they really bounce well off each other. You can really tell that uh, James Murdison's having a lot of fun in this role. Uh, another previous role he's played similar to this, where it's him in like a. I want to say did well, basically like. Uh, digital effects uh, animal is uh, I think Peter Rabbit or not Peter Rabbit uh, uh, it's one with the bunny I think it's the Easter Bunny that's the movie uh, so this is the second time around where he's just having another car adventure taking another uh, animal along on his uh, journey and it's really funny uh, that's one of the things I really liked about it uh, some Easter eggs that fans will like if you're a fan of the Sonic series or uh, seen the animated series when it came out in the early early 2000s, late 90s, or played the games in the 90s was uh, they played the Sonic theme song, uh, the Green Zone, Green Hill Zone theme songs makes an introduction in there. Uh, Mushroom Zone, uh, the mushroom level is more or less like a background plot device but it's really cool to see it and as well as uh, introducing one of the Sonic characters Tails comes in uh, 
but I won't tell you where because I don't want to spoil it. So, uh, things I didn't like about the movie, uh, there wasn't really anything to argue about it. Really, uh, the movie theater I went to was mostly full, and mostly it was full of people that uh, I guess either had some connection to Sonic, either while playing the game or watching the movies, and then seeing kids too, kids' reaction, just yelling out Super Sonic. Which, if you've seen the trailer for the movie, I assume they would have played that song at least towards the end. But they played uh, Post Malone. It was one of Post Malone's new songs. Uh, for this movie, I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5. It was a really enjoyable experience. And I actually enjoyed the theater vibe to it as well with the people I, I watched it with. Uh, it made it all the more better. And then seeing a lot of fan reaction as well was also much better. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully uh, this gets a sequel, because uh, this is really good, and I'd actually like to see them introduce uh, Shadow, who's the black uh, black version of Sonic. Not black version, but a uh, black skin color of Sonic. And that's also one of my favorite characters. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining me on my movie review, and I'll see you with another movie for February. It'll probably be either Emma or The Invisible Man. Uh, thank you guys for checking it out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what your thoughts are on the movie if you've seen it. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.